Good after all. What? Good afternoon, all, is what I meant to say. As you can tell, do rag and all, I just woke up, got my odd buddy Teddy with me in the bed. Cause that's my boy. We share beds. Get me. Let me stop being silly. But yeah, basically, um, first of all, I want to send out a big apology because tonight, Rate Me Please will not be on the radio. Sorry, guys. A few technical difficulties in the studio. But um, as always, I'm going to be out and about. I should be going to the, the cosy show later. So if you're there, holla. See you later. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to talk about today was... Okay, first of all, let me set, set the record straight. When I blog... I never do it with a motive to either put it in a negative light or put it in a positive light. I'm not I'm not there for that. I just say it how I see it. You see me? So, um, yeah, because people always say to me, oh, Ramel, you're going to that event to blog. Be careful what you say, you know, because... Da -da -da. Listen, I'm not that kind of person. Like, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I've got to stay impartial. Like I say, I say it like I see it. So, sorry, I clapped. Crack my knuckles, that's nasty, I'm so sorry. But you can see I'm in bedroom mode, I've got my duvet and everything. I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable, I'm chilling, I'm blogging, that's what I do, I get comfy. But okay, basically, last night I went to Team UK Talents. Boop, boop, boop. It was a really, really good idea. I really love the event. I love what it's all about, I love what it stands for, like, it's all about Team UK stand-up, all that stuff, like, um, giving young artists who may not get, like, booked for other events a platform to perform, and it's, like, it's got a very good, um, go, very good theme, like, I saw so many, like, up-and-coming artists that I know, and people were coming up to me, giving me their music, like, for Rate Me Please and stuff, love that, that's what I love, I didn't even have to search all i have to do is say oh yeah i'm ramel oh my gosh yeah you're ramel okay let me give you that cd play on the radio like i'm not trying to say i'm famous but you know like people recognize me i had the island i love london chain oh where is that oh do you know what yeah i'll show you my i love london change in a bit in change chain later but um yeah people are coming up to me and giving me their cds i've got shem cd i like that I got um, what are they called Jam Time their their um business card. I like that. I love that. Those kind of people that come up to me and say, yeah, play me on the radio. Love that. So um yeah, the idea is great. Networking upstairs. There was a, like a photo shoot, so you could find out a little bit more about them. Manicures and all that stuff. Cause I know I like getting my nails did. So I was speaking to those ladies too. Aisha, Miss Purple Turtle. She was there representing. Had every kind of chain you can think of. There for sale niceness but now this is where it gets to the part, point where i say what i see the venue was not good like it, it was um someone made a good point it was a pub now you can't hold you can't hold a music event in a pub because the facilities won't do you good you need a very good pa system you need sound equipment a sound engineer which is vital just you know for performers and they're singing and stuff you need mics that work now i'm not gonna lie i've been to events i've hosted events where the mics aren't up to scratch and that's fair dues like if that's what happens that's what happens but you can try i heard there was time to pre-plan that and get the mics and get a decent kind of mic the mics said some next nonsense like they weren't any industry standard mics they were some boy Dare I say it, karaoke mics. Dare I say it. I don't know, I wasn't there, I didn't buy it. But <laughs> that's what it looked like when I saw the mics. So the sound quality wasn't there. And um, I, can, I, I can understand for the promoter that she got very stressed out because events planning is hard. I do it myself. I love it. But I know it can be stressful. But I, I feed off the stress. I love the stress. But, um, yeah, but she got angry. And she wilded out on a couple of the people that were there, like performers and and the DJ. The DJ came and spoke to me personally. I know him. Hold tight, DJ Big Kid. Good DJ, I like him. Um, he came up to me personally and he said, listen, I'm not going to take abuse. So he packed up his bags and he left. There was no music. Well, so, um... For a hot minute, there was no music in the venue. So the show could not carry on. That's a problem, you see. 
And um, poor little, Don, little Donatella, she was trying hard. She was like, come on, guys. There'll be music soon. Oh, never mind. Yeah, like, you could see things were just kind of unraveling before your eyes. And I hate to see stuff like that. Like, especially when, like I said, it's a good theme behind it, you know, positive message. But things just start unraveling and it's like... You know when you want to step in and do something, like, I'm a presenter, I was thinking, oh, let me grab the mic and sort this out. Mm, I couldn't, that's not my place. I'm, a, I'm an events coordinator. Let me tell people what to do. I can't do that, that's not my place. So, I just want to say, like, don't, don't, don't let too much negativity get you down for all events promoters out there because when you've got a good message behind you, just keep pushing that, keep pushing that. I'm not going to say this this event was the best I've ever been to, because that would be a lie. But I'm just going to be real. I think we need to change the location. Because the Distillers is a pub. Not a venue for holding, you know, upcoming artists where they need, like, the best quality equipment that can showcase their talent. Well, look at the single wagon, boy. So, you know I'm getting serious. Head tilt and everything. Mm-mm-mm. So, um, yeah. Team UK Talents. Let's try again next month. And hopefully I can get booked. Yeah. 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 I'll actually dress properly. Like, I'm in pyjamas. Like, you know them, them vests that you wear? Them any vest that you wear to bed? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing. And a duvet. With my bear. Yeah, anyway. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to Reggie's World and J-Force FF. They're both on Twitter. Follow them. They are funny. We went to town afterwards. We caught the most amount of jokes. I think I'm losing my voice because I was laughing so hard. And if you know me and you know my laugh, you know it was disgusting. Like, <laughs> they are too much. I'm officially a part of their their crew. So, that's for you guys. <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to sign off. And, um, yeah, make sure you look up Industry Takeover this Thursday. It's all about making music in the industry. So all those artists that are up and coming, be there, be there, be there. Emerging artists are going to be performing all night. Open mic. It's only £4 on guest list, £5 at the door. So make sure you get there. Holler at me if you want to get on the guest list. And next week, Monday, I love live. I do. I do love live. I love it. I love it. Check it out. Dot Rotten, Lioness, so many more. Check out my blog, romellelondon.blogspot.com. Peace! I'm going to go, like, do my hair and get washed or something. See you!